In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to take a full page screenshot in Chrome. So, you know, in Google Chrome, when you go to a website and you maybe want to take a screenshot of that entire website, but you, if you use your computer's normal way to take a screenshot, it will just take a screenshot of what's actually showing on the screen right now. And it won't take a screenshot of everything else that's on that page. If it's a long page that you have to scroll down, but there is actually a way that you can quite easily take one screenshot that includes every single thing on the page of a website. And in this video, Timmy's going to show you how to do it. So the easiest way to do this is with a Chrome extension. So you'll need to go to the Chrome web store and search for go full page. It's a really cool Chrome extension and you don't actually have to search for it. There'll be a link in the video description down below. So you can just click on it and open it up like this. And then once you're here, you'll just need to click on add to Chrome here and then just click on add extension. And now it will add the extension into Google Chrome. So now you've got this notification here telling you that the extension has been installed and you can just click on the cross to close that. And you've got this welcome page, but Timmy's going to show you how to use it. So you can just close that tab as well. And now you're ready to start taking your screenshot. So you'll just need to go to the website that you want to take a full page screenshot of. Timmy will just go to techtimewithtimmy.com for this example. And then once you're on the page you want to take a screenshot of, you'll see Timmy's on techtimewithtimmy.com. And if you scroll down, there's a lot of stuff below the, below the end of the screen that you don't see that you have to scroll down to see. So if you want to take a full page screenshot of this entire thing, you'll just need to click on the extension. And when you install an extension in Google Chrome, it will actually hide it behind this puzzle piece here. So to click on the extension, you will just need to click on this puzzle piece. And then you'll see here is the go full page extension. And you can just click on it to start taking the screenshot. But what Timmy's going to do before that is click on this little pin icon here. And now if you close this, this extension will always be up the top here. So rather than having to click on the puzzle piece, you can just click on the camera button here whenever you want to take a full page screenshot. So it's much easier to have it pinned up there. You can do that if you want, but then whether you pin it or not, you just need to click on the extension now and it will take a full page screenshot. So as you can see, it's scrolling down the screen and capturing every part of the page. And then when it's done, it will automatically open it up here. And as you can see, there's now a screenshot of the entire page. So now you've got your screenshot and then to save it to your computer, all you have to do is come up and click on this download image button and it says in brackets PNG. So that means when you click on it now and click on allow, it will download a PNG image of your screenshot. So now if you open it up, you have this big long screenshot of your page. You can also download it as a PDF if you want by clicking on this download PDF button and it'll work the same except it will download the page as a PDF. But for screenshots, you probably want a PNG anyway because that's more of an image. So to me usually just downloads the PNG, but so that's really cool. And that's all there is to taking a full page screenshot in Google Chrome. So hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you did, please click on the thumbs up button down below. And if you want to see more videos like this, click on the subscribe button down below and click on the little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified every time Timmy makes a new video. So that's really cool. And Timmy will see you in the next video.